Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Smart Edu Hub Mumbai. In today's video, I shall explain to you how to find the poles of a solenoid. Now, a solenoid, as you know, is just a coil of wire. So, this in physics will be called as a solenoid. Now, if you have to find the poles of a solenoid, meaning if you want to find out whether this is a north pole or this here is a north pole, there are two methods. The first method is the right hand grip rule. And the second method is the method of mnemonics. So now let me explain to you the right hand grip rule. So as you can see in the diagram, the diagram to the left on the screen shows you the right hand grip rule. And the rule says that if you know the direction of the current, Obviously, that is what something you must be knowing. So now if you can see, the current is going in this direction. Okay? It's going upwards. So you are going to curl your fingers such that they show the direction of the current. Meaning the tips of the fingers should show the direction of the current. So if you really curl the fingers, you will realize that the tips also go downwards. So in that case... When you curl your fingers in this way, your thumb will always point to the north pole. So this is how you find the direction of the current using the right hand grip rule. So what's the rule? The rule is to curl the fingers in the direction of the current. And then the stretched thumb will give you the direction of the north pole. So it will indicate where the north pole is. So this is very simple. This is the right hand grip rule. And now what about the mnemonics? Well, mnemonics is also extremely simple. In fact, it is the easiest, I may say. And this method tells you, rather it teaches you to write the N and the S, that is the North Pole and the South Pole in a very stylish way. What do I mean by that? It's simple. This is your North. Now write it like this. So what's the direction of the current when the pole is north? It's always anti-clockwise. So that means whenever you find that at one edge of the solenoid, the current is in the anti-clockwise direction, you immediately know that it is the north pole. And if at all, you write your S also a bit stylish. You will notice that whenever the current direction is clockwise. So whenever the current direction in the solenoid edge is clockwise. Then that edge of the solenoid is representing a south pole. As simple as that. You can apply the rule here as well. If you can see over here, the current is going which direction is going in the clockwise. And like I told you, clockwise stands for south pole. So you can find the poles in either way using the right hand grip rule or using the method of mnemonics. Everything is fine. Okay. So, how does it help me to know the north and the south pole? Well, I told you that there is a magnetic field around a current carrying conductor. Now, although this wire has been made into a coil, that is into a solenoid, if it is connected to a power supply, it is still going to have a magnetic field around it. And once you know the polarity of the solenoid, you can easily draw the lines of magnetic fields inside and outside the solenoid. Now, I'll explain to you how to draw the diagram for the fields of a solenoid. Now for that first we need to draw a solenoid and connect it to a power supply. So now I am going to draw a solenoid. For example, suppose now suppose I draw a solenoid and I Say that this is my north pole, this is my south pole. Okay. And 
I am writing down again over here this is my solenoid. So now I know because it is having a magnetic field there will be magnetic field lines and the magnetic field lines will be exactly similar to the bar magnet. So I will just show you what I mean by that. If this is the north and this is the south pole of a bar magnet then you know the magnetic field lines always go from north to south. So this is how we would have drawn the magnetic field lines from north to south. Now remember the magnetic field lines in the solenoid are also passing inside the solenoid as well as around it because the coils have empty hollow space inside them. Okay, so I'll show you exactly how the magnetic field lines are located in and around the solenoid. So for instance, you will find that since it is a north pole, you will have magnetic field lines passing like this and also magnetic field lines passing like this. It is also important to notice that the magnetic field lines inside the solenoid run parallel to each other. So if I have to draw the solenoid properly to show the field lines, I would have drawn them something like this. This is the solenoid. So the magnetic field lines are parallel inside the solenoid, parallel to each other inside the solenoid. That is what I mean. So the field lines inside the solenoid are parallel to each other and they are also the field uh, magnetic field is also uniform and outside the solenoid the like I told you the magnetic field lines behave uh, the way they would have behaved around a bar magnet that is they uh, turn and go from north to the south also by now you must have guessed it that if I increase the current then the strength of the field also increases and if I increase the number of turns on the coil then the strength of the coil also increases. So here's a summary of all that I have been telling you in the video. First is the field is similar to that from a bar magnet. Second, the current increases, then the strength of the field also increases. And if the number of turns of the coil increases, then again the strength of the field increases. So remember once again that there are two methods of finding the poles of a magnet, the right hand grip rule and the mnemonic rule. By writing N and S in a stylish way, you can get the directions of the current. And if you know the direction of the current from the coil, you can guess whether it's a north pole or a south pole. So anti-clockwise direction of the current indicates it's a north pole. And south pole always has the current in the clockwise direction. And the right hand grip rule tells you that if you curl your fingers in the direction of the current, then the thumb points to the direction of the north pole. And already the field lines I have summarized already. So that's all in today's video. And if you would like watching my video.